Taurus, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is for the sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement that resonates with you, there may be messages that will also resonate. Towards the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Taurus, we are jumping right in and you are showing up strong. Empress energy is Libra and Taurus energy. Empress, the Three of Cups. What else do we have for Taurus, please? Most important messages. Okay. Looks like some sort of emotional situation is coming in for you here. Heart space opening. Maybe meeting someone through a friend group. We have the Strength card, Major Arcana for Leo energy. Two more cards for Taurus, please. Some of you are overcoming something. I feel like this Empress energy that you are now embodying so very much so it comes after it comes because you have overcome something you have summoned the courage to do what was best for yourself a situation that was probably hard to you know be brave against but we also have the world card here, another major arcana. One more card for Taurus, please. I do feel like you've overcome something, something that was very hard to overcome. And in that overcoming, it's giving you this Empress energy, male or female, it does not matter. Empress energy is top tier. Can't get better than the Empress or the Emperor. It's like final stage, more, you know, combat, complete, like whatever, whatever you want to call it. Mastery. But this mastery is coming at, at, at the... Um, expense of you having to overcome something page of wands at the bottom of the deck sagittarius energy could be important to you does look like you're going to be getting some sort of news though some sort of message some sort of communication with that page of wands and because it's the page of wands it's going to be news that you will be happy to hear some sort of exciting news some sort of spark some of you could be meeting someone new maybe a libra also could be getting some sort of good news around some sort of legal matter for those of you that are dealing with one but I do see here with this Libra energy behind it, there was some sort of lesson that I think you you learned. And I think because you have learned, you sought a lesson, you chose accordingly, as hard as it was, you did what was absolutely necessary. And I think you left something behind. You chose to move away from something. You chose to create boundaries. Could be around a friendship circle. We also have two threes here. Ah, oh, so that is that mastery number. 33 is mastery, you self-mastery. The final level of mastery of, of, of enlightenment or, you know, you know what I mean. 33. So you have mastered something here. You've learned a lesson. And because I think you're, you've finally learned some sort of lesson, some sort of karmic lesson, you're now getting everything you deserve here. You now are able to reap the rewards actually reap seven of pentacles reap the fruits of your labor for some of you that are waiting for some sort of legal issue that's going to be resolved because it's the way you chose to move to, to, to it's the way you chose to go about something you chose yourself is the vibe that i'm getting whatever situation this is whether it's a love situation a friendship or a job you chose yourself as hard as it was as hard as it was, because it definitely could have been some attachment to this. If it was hard to let go of, there was obviously emotional attachment. But you did it. You overcame it. Actually, both of these are empresses. This is also the empress taming the um, the dark, you know, the the shadow side represented by the lion, that animal side. You have now mastered all aspects of yourself. That's what that's saying. And there was something that happened recently that was the final sort of test and you passed you definitely pass it's bringing you into this empress energy the highest vibration of of yourself with the three of cups in the world you're definitely leaving behind something people person and again with the world card the way that she's looking back although she's moving forward but still sort of looking back this definitely confirms to me that whatever it is that you've recently decided to sort of put boundaries up with it was hard it was hard. It was definitely something you desired. The Seven of Wands tells me, yeah, you've definitely put up boundaries. Whoever, whatever that is a threat to um, you being in this Empress energy, you're getting rid of. No matter how much you love it, no matter how much you enjoy it, 
And I see because of that, you are getting rewarded here. Ace of Cups, the letter W or M could be important to you. But this is renewal. This is, could also be tears of joy. Maybe whatever news you're getting here brings you an extreme amount of happiness. Reason to celebrate as well, but it's because you fought for it and you didn't settle for anything less. In whatever aspect, for some of you, it might be in a romantic situation or matters of the heart. You know? Yeah. Whoever it is, if you have left a particular person behind, yeah, they're feeling it. Just so you know. FYI. I think you've decided to put your eggs in other baskets, so to speak, because uh, you're, as you can see, his back has turned to this devil energy. Whoever it is that you've turned your back on or pulled your energy from or walked away from, they're feeling it. Five of Cups here, regret. Still very much hung up over it, but I think you have, um, I don't think you care, to be honest. Because the string card in the world heart tells me that um, you gave this more than enough chances. Whoever this is, whatever this is, if it's a person, if it's a house, you know, could be a neighborhood. You've given this more than enough chances. No more chances. Your your self-worth is now the top priority. And you're, you're understanding that now. And now your decisions and the way you move and the way you interact with people is finally starting to reflect that. That you truly believe you're worth more. Not just saying it and then making decisions that are complete contrary to that belief. But your ability to just walk away and detach from things, even things you love, in order to preserve self, the universe is like, kudos. Kudos, Taurus. You doing the you doing the damn thing. We gotta we gotta give you some, we gotta, we gotta honor you for this. Two sevens here as well. Seven seven, lucky energy. Leaving this sort of energy behind. Whoever it is you're leaving behind, though, they do want to fix it. They do want to fix it. They need, but they need to, they need to get their self together. Whatever it is, they need to get themselves together. You got to let them get themselves together. You can't be responsible for them getting themselves together. You know how that goes? Yeah, you know how that goes. What do we have for Taurus, please? New cycle for you, though. You're stepping into something new. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Could be dealing with a Cancer. And expect powerful change. For some of you, whatever situation you're left behind, it very well could be that that could be what is changing and that is now able to show up for you better because you put your foot down. But it's almost like for a lot of you, I don't think you'll really care. Because it's like the disrespect is is, is what's, you know, you, you are now looking at yourself in such a high light that even if this past situation does change, the amount of hoops that you would have to make them jump through to prove to you, it's like you don't even want to put them through that. <laughs> Renee said hoops because she looks like she's jumping through hoops, right? Definitely, there could be someone, if you're leaving a particular person behind, friendship, work, relationship, they could be willing to jump through hoops, but I don't know if you're willing to even let them. That's how over it you are. The Seven of Pentacles tells me you might be thinking about it. Also, this could be a situation that you waited for a while and you're done waiting. Turkey Spirit. Give with gratitude and grace, number 61, which is another seven. Another seven, 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 seven. Yeah. Guidance for Taurus, please. For some of you, you're about to be living your best life. All because you, you chose to uphold your value. To yourself you didn't you know you know you're no longer waiting for people to, sh to to uphold your value you're not expecting anyone to uphold your value anymore you're you're now comfortable with doing that and if any situation doesn't value you poof be gone you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north now let's get one of these for you Taurus someone could be obsessed with you too that devil energy tells me someone might be now obsessed with you. It's like you taking this stance is making them even more obsessed with you. Drown out the effing noise and keep doing you. Yeah, you're unique. Look at this unicorn. You're definitely different. You're not like anybody else. And you're holding, you're, you're, you're upholding that. You're not trading that for anything anymore. And if it means you're going to be alone and if it means you lose people, you're now okay with that. 
that is your reading Taurus hopefully it resonates with you thumbs me up leave me a comment if it does do not forget to subscribe I'll see you guys next week